Fortnite. If you're not familiar with this word, then you've probably just come out of an extended coma. Congratulations, welcome back. Life has changed a bit since you were last conscious. Teen virginity is at its highest, human social interaction is at an all time low, and childhood obesity, I'm sure you can guess, is still on the rise. And in all my years of being a self righteous, attention seeking camera slut, I've never quite seen the social media dominance of a game such as Fortnite. But is that a problem? Fortnite, a game that is so unique that put side by side with a game like PUBG, you may think to yourself, huh, that's not that different. Now at first I thought that it might be a phase, but instead I have realized Fortnite is a way of life, kind of like Buddhism, but instead of being enlightened at the end, you are just filled with repetitive rage. Every few years a video game becomes so popular with children that someone just has to decide that there's something wrong with it. Now does that mean there is? That's up for debate. That being said, kids are addicted to Fortnite night like my uncle Mel was hooked on cocaine in the 80s. Hold up, before we go any further, do you guys think that Fortnite is overhyped or is it a game revolution? Leave a comment down below. Now Fortnite is kind of a double edged sword. For instance, this headline, school blames Fortnite for kids coming to school tired. You see, it's as if children would rather play video games than get the much needed sleep that they need to function in a learning environment. Blasphemy. But is it really the kids fault or the parents for not having any control over their child's game time? I'll let you uh, ruminate over that one. Because is Fortnite really that different from any other game craze? Sometimes I feel like whenever a new game becomes popular, parental anger just develops around it without any actual thought. Nonetheless, parental concern has prompted responses from um, articles such as the Daily Telegraph. And you know, there are some problems that are video game specific. There sometimes still seems to be a parental disconnect when they accidentally buy their kids a game that is age inappropriate. I had to enlighten a parent actually just last week who thought that the 18M sticker on the game meant that the game was difficult when it actually means that it's M18 for mature. I have to admit, Epic Games has created quite the monstrosity. So important to my brother that he has designed a P schedule calendar around game. And if he has to squeeze the lemon during a match, he has designed his own makeshift catheter attached to an empty two liter Mountain Dew bottle. So on the flip side, you know, maybe reducing kids sleep, but it's forcing them to get creative. For instance, Strip Fortnite was pretty revolutionary, perfect for the adolescent teen who hasn't had any sexual interaction because you know, his day is filled with playing Fortnite, but he still wants to see some of that booty. One thing that always seems to come out of these internet trends is certain odd fandoms or fetishes such as Fortnite porn. And uh, if you want to learn more about that, I'll link you to my friend James video on the subject, which I guess if it tickles your pickle, then go for it. And you may not even be aware of what Fortnite is doing to your brain. I know I wasn't. One day I just sat down to play my favorite battle royale and next thing I know, I've awoken three weeks later in a piss puddle of shame and pride. Sure, I had won three matches, but it took three weeks. So addiction fail on my part. Not only is Fortnite affecting the brains of your children, but it's making them dance. I can't tell if this kid is having a seizure or is generally just a horrible dancer. But Fortnite made it an emote. And look, it's not the kid's fault that they can't stop playing this game that's about as unique as this video idea. I was this way when Halo 3 came out a millennia ago. Just let the kids have fun. Like with anything in life, there is a balance. If you think this is bad, just wait for the next internet sensation. Remember, I'm Ryan, and I'll see you in the next video.